Good morning, children. How are you all? I hope you all are fine at home with the presence of God. Today we are going to learn the subject social studies. In social studies, before moving on to lesson one, we are going to learn one story. The name of the story is Thank You. When you have to use the word thank you, when you have to use it, if someone helps you, you have to say thank you. Very good. Good children. Now, look at here. What's the first picture? Yes, you are right. It's a hand. H-A-N-D. Hand. How many hands you have? Two. Very good. And look at it. What is this? I. E -Y -E -I. How many eyes you have? Two eyes. Very good. What's this? Leg. What's the spelling for leg? L-E-G. Leg. How many legs you have? Two legs. Yes, you are right. Okay. Now look at here. For what purpose we are using the hand? We are using the hand to walk. To walk, to draw, to write and to hold things. For many things we are using the hand and then eye when we use the eye to see to see the objects we are using the eyes then we are using the leg to walk to jump to run okay now look at the next one what is this year how many year we have we have two years very good why god gave us years to hear good things. Very good. And then what is this? Nose. Very good. How many nose we have? We have only one nose. Okay. For what purpose we are using this? To hear good things. Very good. And then for what purpose we are using the nose? To smell things. Okay. Now shall we pass on to the lesson? Yes. Now look at here. Look at here. Who is she? She's a girl and he's a boy. And the name of the girl is Mina. What's the name of the girl? Mina. And the name of the boy is Manu. The name of the boy is Manu. Mina and Manu. Now Mina and Manu both are friends both are friends look at here what she is doing she is drawing the picture she is drawing the picture now she is telling i use my hands to draw and write for what purpose she is using the hand she is using the hand to draw and write now look at here manu is telling I use my hands to hold the mug tight. To hold the mug tight. Why he is using the hand? He is using the hand to hold the mug. Okay. Now both of them are using their hands. Mina is using the hands to draw and write. And Manu is holding the mug tight. Okay. Now look at the next one. Next I use my legs. To walk and run. For what purpose Mina is using the leg? She is using the leg to walk and run. And then for what purpose Manu is using the leg? He used the leg to jog and have fun. And have fun. And then look at the next one. What's there on the sky? Yes, kite. How do you know that it's a kite? By Seeing by seeing. Look at here. Look at here. Mina is telling. Look a kite. Look a kite. Which one helps her to, to see? Eyes. Very good. Eyes help her to see. Look at here. Manu is telling. With my eyes, I see the sun so bright. With my eyes, I see the sun so bright. Manu is telling. With his eyes. He can watch the sun. It is very bright. And look at the next one. 
what she is doing she is hearing the music very good mina is telling my ears help me to hear nice songs his her ears help her to hear nice songs and then manu is telling i can also hear the bell go ding dong how the bell goes ding dong you can hear it with which organ you can hear the sound with the help of the ear very good look at the next one what she is doing she is smelling the cake and what he is doing he is smelling the flowers and mina is telling my nose helps me to smell the cake mina nose help her to smell the cake and manu's nose help him to smell the flower where's the flower the flowers are near the lake okay and then now you understand this with the help of the hand we can use we can hold the things and we can draw and write and with the help of the leg we can walk and run and we can jog and have fun and with the help of the eye we can see the things with the help of the ears we can hear the sounds and with the help of the nose we can smell things now you understand this children yes now we are going to do some exercises okay look at here do and learn do and learn color the yellow for things you do with your hands what are the things you can do with your hands you have to do coloring shall we do it now look at the first one brush b r u s h brush brush we can hold it in our hand brush we can hold it yes daily morning we hold the brush no in our hands yes so they color the brush look at the next one r u n run with the help of the hand we can run no we can't run so we should leave it and then c l a p clap we can clap we can clap yes we can clap with the hand so we have to do coloring in clap we have to do coloring in clap and look at the next one walk w a l k walk with the help of the hand we can walk no we have to walk with the leg only so we shouldn't touch it and look at the last one c o m b comb with the help of the comb how we have to hold the comb in our hand only we can hold the comb so we have to color this c o m b comb we have to color this now you understand this children yes shall we pass on to the next one look at here now we are going to do matching look at here what is this e y e i h a n d hand l e g leg e a r ear n o s e nose t h u m b thumb t h u m b thumb they already did it so we are going to do the remaining matching shall we do it now now look at the first one i where's the eye of the boy yes you are right it's here very good and then h a n d hand where's the hand it's here and then l e g leg yes you are right and then e a r ear and then n o s e nose nose yes yes we completed you all love it you all love to do matching no yes shall we pass on to the next one now look at part c write the missing letters write the missing letters number 1 i dash with my hands i draw d r a w draw here d they already gave the answers now look at the next one number 2 i dash with my eyes i dash with my eyes i see i see you can see with your eyes no 
Yes. What's the spelling for C? Yes. E E C. And then number three. I use my dash to jump. Which one you use to jump? You use your legs. What's the spelling for legs? L E G S. Legs. And look at the fourth one. I smell with my nose. I smell with my nose. What's the spelling for nose? N O S E. Nose. Shall we do it now? Yes. I C. Yes. E E C. I C with my eyes. I use my dash to jump. Legs. L E G S. Legs. I smell with my nose. N O S E. Nose. Now we complete part C. Shall we read part D? Part D. Write how many you have. How many organs you have? You are going to say now. Look at number one. I have dash nose O N E one O N E one. I have one nose. Look at the second one. I have dash hands. How many hands you have? Yes, very good. Two hands you have no? Yes. And look at the third one. How many ha I have dash eyes. How many eyes you have? How can you see? Yes. The eyes. With the help of the eyes you can see. How many you have? Two eyes. Very good. What's the spelling for two? T W O two. Very good. Number four. I have dash ears. How many ears you have? Yes. You have? Two years, very good. That's also two, very good. Shall we write the answers now? I have two hands. T W O two, and then I have dash eyes. I have two. I S T W O two, and then I have dash years. I have two years. T W O two. Now you understand this, children? Yes. Now what are the things we learn? Shall we have a recall? Yes. First we learn the story. What's the name of the story? Thank you. When you have to use the word thank you, if someone helps you, you have to say thank you. Okay. It's a good habit. Okay, children. And then we learn about, we learn about the organs. Five organs. What are the organs? Hand, eye, leg, ear, nose. And we learn the story. For what purpose we are using the hand? Yeah, we can use the hand to draw and write and we can use the hand to hold the things. And then what purpose they are using, the children are using? They are using the leg to walk and run and then to jog and have fun. And then they use their eyes to look at the things around them. Okay. And then they use their ears to hear the songs and the sounds around them. And then they use their nose to smell the things. Okay children, now you understand it clearly and then we complete this book exercise. After you collect the book, you can complete this book exercises. Today's homework, what you have to do, you have to learn the missing letters. We learned the missing letters, no? Yes, D, R, A, W, draw. Those missing letters you have to learn. And you have to learn the match the following. And how many you have, you have to learn. I have one nose. I have two hands. That you have to learn. Now you understand the story clearly, children. We will meet in the next session. Thank you, children.